I think the most fundamental important issue is developing the institutional infrastructure mm -hmm. to adequately represent who we are to the wider public. Be because these uh, stereotypes and this hatred that's being built up uh, towards Islam and Muslim, it, it only exists because we have not challenged a lot of the misperceptions. And to effectively challenge them, we need institutions to magnify our voices. Just as they have institutions such as Fox News and other media institutions, the 700 Club and others to magnify their voices. The haters are small in number, but they're able to magnify their voice so it has a wide reach and then those people aren't sure or sitting on the fence can be swayed mm -hmm. by their arguments. Darkness only exists in the absence of light. And we are the people of light. And we have a responsibility to bring that light to the wider public, to dispel the clouds of darkness. Where do you think organizations have uh, failed to that end? I think, first of all, if, if you're not from here, if you haven't grown up here, if you don't have family roots and connections, I don't think you truly understand how the average American thinks. And if you don't know how people think, you don't know the best ways to approach them and to address them. I think by concentrating on uh, activism, on political officials, as opposed to focusing on the grassroots, uh, we create a void at the grassroots that are filled by vile people. And that's where you get your support, because the average person, there's a lot they're not satisfied with mm -hmm. in terms of what they're getting from the politicians. And so by focusing on those politicians, as opposed to really focusing on the issues that are affecting common people and building bridges of solidarity and understanding and sympathy with those people, uh, I think we're missing a, a huge opportunity. And we're leaving, we're leaving a void. Mm -hmm. And the Prophet Sallallahu he started with the little guys. He didn't start with the big shots. That reminds me of an organization that we deal with. Um, actually, the head of the organization, Will Coley, over in Tennessee, uh, Muslims for Liberty, he's written a few articles for our magazine. He's in Knoxville? Yeah, in Knoxville. And they go to these camps and... Yeah, yeah. yeah I met him last Ramadan. Yeah, yeah. See, they're reaching people at the grassroots, and they get big audiences. They go and they take over these gatherings because mm -hmm. they're sensible and people can relate to them, and they know how to talk to their people.